y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is taya and this is taya's turning pages so by the title of this video you can tell that this is going to be my fall book recommendation slash fall tbr so all of the books that i would like to get to before the fall season is over i do have a few spooky books and creepy reads but i also have some cozy books i think <laughs> i think honestly i think most of them are thrillers or kind of in the horror realm but either way they're still perfect for this fall season and i'm really excited to share these with you guys so let's get started so the first book that I read that I recommend for this season is The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux and this is considered a classic. I never read this before of course and I never watched the movie, I never watched the play. The only things I knew about The Phantom of the Opera was that there was a mask involved and an organ. That's it, nothing else. And I'm really glad that I went into this sort of line just because I think that made for a better reading experience. This is a popular classic, but for those of you who do not know, this is about a young woman named Christine Daae. She is a opera singer and she's a very talented opera singer. And she's actually haunted by the Phantom of the Opera, also known as Eric, in this story. He is really hell bent on making sure that Christine becomes a star essentially because of her talent. And while Christine is dealing with these hauntings and trying to figure out a way to kind of, you know, distance herself from Eric after a while, just because this has been going on for so long, you know, him haunting her, she rekindles an old friendship with this man named Raul and Raul has always had a crush on her and I think Christine has always had a crush on him too and throughout all of this they start to rebuild a friendship and sparks also start to fly. Well that pisses off the phantom because he has devoted himself to Christine and he expects the same from her and the story takes off from there. So it is very creepy, very eerie, also very very funny. That is one thing that I will say about this book. Gaston Leroux's writing is just really really good. I genuinely enjoyed a lot of the things that the Phantom said. I was telling my boyfriend some of the things that he said in the book and we were cracking up just because the fact that this was written back in the 1900s and he wrote the phantom in such a funny way that translates to today in 2021 is just amazing but this does fall in that gothic literature slash horror slash you know creepy thriller genre and if you're interested in that i definitely recommend picking this up i think that this is a very accessible classic the writing in here was very easy to follow in my opinion and especially for this penguin classics black edition there are footnotes within here and there's a lot of notes on commentary and just things that the authors and translators that compiled this book they go into more detail about so those are at the back that's at the back of the book so if you're interested in that definitely recommend picking up this edition but there are other editions that you can pick up and you can still follow the story along perfectly but I definitely recommend reading this one and I think this deserves a lot more hype than it gets I know that this is a popular classic but I just feel like out of all of the classics that I see go around on booktube or bookstagram this one's like never brought up as much as some of the other ones and I think it should because this was really really great I plan on watching the movie very soon so I can compare the two but yeah Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. So the next book that I have here is Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Ayamide. I think that this is such a great book for the fall because it definitely falls into that dark academia vibe and it's just it's very thr thrilling and very suspenseful so again it's perfect for this season but this is a popular book that has been going around on booktube bookstagram and I'm assuming book talk for a while now but for those of you who do not know I will provide a brief synopsis. So this story follows two black students who attend an all-white private academy named Chiamaka and Zen and this is their senior year so they're both trying to get their college plans in order before they graduate and they want to make sure that this year is perfect again so they can attend their respective schools. Chiamaka is interested in attending Yale while Devin is interested in attending Juilliard and while they are trying to work through their college plans they start to get targeted by an anonymous person named Aces and Aces is only targeting Chiamaka and Devin so they send threatening text messages to both Chiamaka and Devin while also sending text messages messages that exposes their secrets to the entire student body. So they're both trying to figure out who is doing this and why and the story pretty much takes off from there. It's very stomach churning, stomach gnawing. I wanted to jump out my skin while I was reading this. There are a lot of trigger warnings in here such as homophobia, racism, systemic racism, institutionalized racism misogynoir, misogyny in general, there's just so many trigger warnings so I definitely recommend looking those up before you dive into this book but yes this made my stomach turn and churn and gnaw at every single chapter because the things that Devin and Chiamaka were experiencing 
were brutal they were brutal okay and as a black person this really resonated with me and again made my stomach turn it made me want to jump out of my skin phenomenal book phenomenal writing phenomenal themes and topics explored in here i think farida did an amazing job at providing a visual aid to how damaging and abusive systemic racism really is for black and brown folks but definitely recommend picking this up if you are interested and you can get past the trigger warnings perfect uh, read for the fall. So this book is also described as Get Out Meets Gossip Girl. So if you're also interested in those two pieces of cinema like myself, <laughs> I definitely recommend picking this up. The next book that I have here is The Chain by Adrian McKinsey and this was a wild ride. I really enjoyed this book. The writing wasn't my fave, I'm not gonna lie, and I will do a formal review of this when I do my September wrap up, so I'm not gonna get into too much detail about what I thought about this book, but I still thought it was a great story nonetheless very interesting very unique i never read anything like this before so i will just read what's on the back here because i don't want to give too much away because i think this is a book you should go into kind of blind but back here it says you just dropped off your child at the bus stop a panicked stranger calls your phone your child has been kidnapped the stranger then explains that the child has also been kidnapped by a completely different stranger the only way to get your child back is to kidnap another child you are now a part of the chain Oh, I get chills even when I still <laughs> read that and I finished this book about a couple of days ago and I still get chills because that is such a horrifying concept and I'm not a parent myself at this moment in time but I don't even want to think about you know something like this happening like that is so crazy and the way that the chain was invented the the the, the forces that be that ran the chain all of it was just so interesting this is very reminiscent of a criminal minds episode so if you are interested in that show i definitely recommend picking this book up then because criminal minds has those crazy plots crazy characters crazy situations that victims you know are forced into just like this story and this is essentially about how victims can be turned into criminals and there's a lot of philosophical references in here too because Adrian McKinty studied philosophy at Oxford so he does make a lot of those type of references and theories and applies them to the story which I found very interesting. I notice I'm becoming more and more interested in philosoph philosophical topics and concepts that speak about humankind and how humankind at the end of the day like you know we may be all morally bad or morally evil especially when we're stripped of resources and access and money and control and all of that type of stuff so it's not like super like heavy philosophical but he does make references and he does have a few quotes in here that tie back to some of those concepts so just an fyi but i do recommend looking up trigger warnings as well just because there are a few in here but other than that i thought this was an amazing book again the writing wasn't my fave but the plot the story itself was so unique, so refreshing. I never read anything like this. Very good book. It definitely falls into that creepy, thrilling, suspenseful, gut-wrenching vibe. If you're interested in that, definitely recommend picking this up. I picked this up after I saw one of Erin Megan's videos because she's a horror book channel and she talked about this book in one of her videos and I was, I knew once I heard the synopsis I needed to pick it up. And I will be doing a formal review of this when I do my September wrap up so stay tuned for that video where you can hear more of my thoughts. They will be spoiler free but stay tuned for that video so you can hear more of my thoughts on this book. The next and the last book that I read is The Ivies by Alexa Don or Donnie. I don't know how to pronounce her last name but I thought this was an excellent read. I actually really enjoyed this. There were some things that weren't my favorite and I'll get into that during my September wrap up video but for now I'll quickly explain the synopsis right here it says enroll in this boarding school thriller about a group of prep school elites who would kill to get into the college of their dreams literally so this is a story that falls into that dark academia vibe and it is a sinister take I would say on the 2020 college admission scandal so if you're interested in that if you're interested in Ivy League culture and how it came to be and why you know the rich and the elite are so obsessed with getting into one of the, these ivy league schools i definitely recommend checking this book out but i also recommend going on netflix and looking up the operation varsity blues uh college admission scandal documentary it was so good so informative you can find that on netflix and again it talks more about ivy league culture and how it came to be secret societies and all of that type of stuff again perfect and cozy and creepy <laughs> for the fall so i thought this was great i'll get into more of it during my again september wrap up video but I definitely recommend this book okay so the next portion of this video is going to be books that i plan on reading for the fall or that i would like to get to before the fall season is over i do have quite a few books here i might not give a synopsis or go into too much detail about all of them just because some of them are really well known like classics and stuff like that so yeah and my camera's dying so we're gonna get through this pretty quickly 
So the first book that I have here is Final Girls by Riley Sager. This has been very popular on booktube and bookstagram and I got this from the thrift store so that's why it's in this paperback edition. But I think this is about a group of girls known as the Final Girls and if you ever watch the movie Scream, Prom Night, Halloween, etc. There's always that one final girl at the end that goes toe to toe with the killer and she takes out the killer and she's known as the final girl. And I think this book follows a group of those girls and they're in a club or they're in a support group and I think one of them ends up going missing and maybe gets murdered so the other girls decide to put their heads together and figure out who is this killer and they're gonna try to stop him. So yeah excited to read this one i think this is going to be really good i don't really read too many horror books so i hope this isn't super gory because i don't like that but i'm so excited to read this nonetheless the next book that i have here is actually a classic and it is the fall of the house of usher and other writings by edgar Allan poe so i read the raven and i think the telltale heart and the pendulum i think those are the only ones that maybe i've read by edgar Allan poe when i was in high school and i really enjoyed them i know a lot of people like edgar Allan poe and his writing as they should because it's very creepy very scary very suspenseful and all of that and i actually found this on depop and i was really interested in picking this up and kind of dipping and diving into this throughout the fall season just because again i really like what i read from edgar Allan poe so far and i haven't read the fall of the house of usher at all and i think there's also the cask of amontillado amontillado and i never read that one and i heard nothing but great things about it so really excited to dive into this a bit more and kind of be transported back to that creepy world the next book that i have here is another classic and i think the last one possibly is jane eyre by charlotte bronte so i know nothing about this book um so i'm going to look at the synopsis here but it says the orphan jane is punished at the hands of her unfeeling aunt and is oppressed by the harsh regime at lowwood school engaged as a governess to the young ward of the mysterious mr rochester she begins a new chapter in her life at thornfield hall she grows to love her byronic employer but her severus test is yet to come as a devastating revelation threatens her happiness once again so this is it says this is a psychological like struggle with the rochester and jane is i think this is like kind of like almost maybe a coming of age story but it also focuses on mr rochester and jane i heard that this is a very melancholy and bleak read so that's why i wanted to read this for specifically october but we'll see if i get to it if not october definitely november um but yeah i've heard a lot of people talk about how this is a melancholy set like eerie read like gothic read so i thought this would be perfect to put on my fall tbr next book that i have on this list is the last classic actually and this is weathering heights by emily bronte who is charlotte bronte's sister i honestly don't know too much about this and when i looked at the synopsis it still didn't really give me anything the only things i know is that this i think follows like a toxic relationship between two people and that's all i know and i think it's like kind of a dark read because again it follows a toxic relationship so it's going to be a little bit dark and a little bit heavy and that's kind of why i put this on my fall tbr because it has that vibe but i heard that this is really good very messy i know a lot of people that either really like this book or they really hate it because of the toxic relationship and how some people i think glamorize or glorify it but either way really excited to read this one this copy is not the best i got this from thrift book so i might honestly pick up a different one because i just i don't know i don't i don't like this edition but still adding this to my tbr i lied i actually do have another classic here and this is the last one i promise and this one is dracula by bram stoker and i got this edition off of depop and i really like this one this is the vintage one and i just think that looks so cool like the little blood specks on here like this is really cool but i never read dracula before i never read frankenstein and i do have frankenstein on my bookshelf but i honestly don't really feel like reading it right now i'm more interested in dracula this is a thick book so i hope i can get through this i hope i can get to this soon and get through this with no issues i hope that writing is also accessible like i really don't know anything about this except for of course this follows dracula and his crimes i'm assuming and what's going on in transylvania and all that stuff so yeah really interested in reading this one I hope this isn't gory or anything, but we will see. So moving on from the classics, the next book that I have here is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I got this from Barnes & Noble during their buy one, get one 50% off sale. That's why there's a sticker up here. But I realize I have three of Riley Sager's book books i have this i have final girls and i also have survive the night and i've read none of them but i will read survive the night next month so that's going to be my introduction into his work but i read the synopsis for this i saw a lot of people talk about this in their booktube videos and on bookstagram and i think this is about a girl who moves into this mansion or she goes to house sit for this mansion and the owners give her very specific instructions and rules to follow and she's not supposed to break any of them because if she does i think something really really bad will happen to her and I think one I think also too like on top of that there's also someone that works 
within this mansion that she meets like someone in their staff and she meets her and she realizes that this woman looks a lot like her sister and her sister went missing years ago so she's kind of getting like weird i think deja vu vibes from this but as she starts to kind of put two and two together possibly and starts to maybe think that this could be her sister the girl goes missing so now there's that like element of like what happened to her and why is this house kind of like really spooky and why did these owners give me set instructions very specific instructions that i can't break so yeah that's all i know about this so far and that was enough for me to pick this up i'm really excited to give this one a read i'm probably going to read this one after i read survive the night honestly um just because i keep putting off final girls because i don't know how scary it's gonna be <laughs> but this sounds like it's right up my alley the next book that i have here is i think a horror slash paranormal book and i'm really excited to dive into this one this is called hunted by darcy coates and this is my first darcy coates book so really excited to get introduced to her work i saw a lot of horror booktube channels recommend her but recommend the story in particular and once i read the synopsis i knew that this would be right up my alley this is kind of thick but I don't know if that's just how the paperback is set up, but we'll see. But this is essentially about a woman named Eileen who goes hiking through these woods and she ends up going missing. And her family reports her missing to the police and they decide to form a search party and they're trying to look for her belongings or any trace of Eileen in these woods. Well, they come across her camera and they look through her camera and realize that there were pictures taken hours after she disappeared and hours after she was last seen so they start to get creeped out by this but because they don't have any other leads the case goes cold so her brother chris decides to form his own search party with a group of his friends and they venture into these woods and as things go on they start to stray further and further away from the trails discoveries unsettling discoveries start to mount and they realize that eileen's disappearance was no accident but by the time they realize it it's already too late so that's all i know that's all i know again i think there's like paranormal elements in this the woods give me the creeps i'm not gonna lie i do not like i do not like the woods i don't like hiking because of this very reason like it just seems like bad stuff always happens in the woods so i don't play around with that but i like reading stories about it because it is a very creepy unsettling backdrop in any story so yeah this is going to be i know like a very scary read for me probably in october and i cannot wait for it two more books the next book that i have here is watching you by lisa jewel and i actually only read one lisa jewel book before and that was called and then she, then she was gone which everyone pretty much has read if you read lisa jewel that was such an amazing psychological thriller and i think that was the book that got me into psychological thrillers because of how much of a mind of a story it was it was so good but this is going to be the second book that i read from her i haven't picked up any more of her books but i don't know too much about this but on the back here it says someone knows what you did melville heights is one of the nicest neighborhoods in bristol england it's not usually the sort of place where people are murdered in their own kitchens but it is the sort of place where everyone has a secret and prying eyes lurk behind every curtain so who has been murdered and who would have wanted one of their neighbors dead watching you will keep you guessing until the starting revelation on the very last page so i think it's one of those like sleepy suburbia type of you know murder mystery type of things which i love i know a lot of people like that trope i do as well so can't wait to read this one when i saw this on amazon i thought it sounded interesting i don't know if this is like highly rated or if this is ranked very high when people talk about lisa jewel's books but i pick up books that just sound interesting to me i don't care how old they are or new they are if they sound interesting i'm gonna pick them up so yeah can't wait to get into this one. I can't wait to get back into the world of Lisa Jewell. And I think I'm going to try to regularly start picking up more of her books. I know she came out with another one called The Night She Disappeared. And just a plethora of other ones. So yeah. The last book that I have here. I've been putting this off for a while. And I'll get into it in a second. But this is called The Other Black Girl by Zakia Delilah Harris. And... Uh, like I said, I've been putting this one off. So this is about a girl named Nella who works in the publishing industry and she's the only black woman in her company. And she's kind of going through the motions of that, trying to navigate that until one day another woman, another black woman comes to work at the company and her and Nella hit it off. They're really good, you know, work colleagues and they get along well until one day Nella starts to receive, starts to receive threatening notes telling her she needs to leave the company. She should go. No one wants her here and things take a sinister turn and the story picks up from there. So that's all I know about this. But when I figure that out i kind of was a little triggered because i work in the communications industry i'm actually a social media strategist but i've also worked in pr before i got into social public relations for those of you who do not know and communications industry is predominantly white and there were a lot of times where i worked at an agency or a company where i was the only black woman there and i feel like i'm probably going to be able to relate to some of the experiences that nella has went through 
being the only black woman in her company and I just wasn't ready to reopen those old wounds but I've heard nothing but great things about this book. I know a lot of people praise this one and I know some people said that they didn't really find this thrilling. They didn't really feel like it was super like thrilling or suspenseful but listen if it has that theme of race and racism and all that stuff it's going to be thrilling and scary to me okay like just like ace of spades it's going to be scary and thrilling to me so yeah that's why i've been putting it off but i know i need to get to this and i really do want to read it because again i've heard nothing but great things but we will see this might be like the last one that i probably would get to <laughs> but i will let you guys know whenever i get to it and ch definitely check out my bookstagram for more updates that's where i update regularly so i will leave that link down below but yeah so before i sign off i also wanted to throw in an honorable mention i should have said this before i'm sorry but i'm currently reading this book and it's called and the trees crept in by dawn kurtigich i got this off of my ipad and that's why i don't have the physical copy but mina aka book skywalker recommended this book in one of her videos and i knew i was going to be hooked once i read the synopsis so i'm actually going to just read that to you because it's so chilling and it gives me chills even still when i read it the synopsis here reads as when Scylla and nori arrive at their aunt's home it's immediately clear that the blood manor is cursed the creaking of the house and the stillness of the woods surrounding them would be enough of a sign but there are secrets too the questions that Scylla can't ignore who is the beautiful boy that appeared from the woods who is the man that her little sister sees but no one else? And why does it seem that ever since they arrived, the trees have been creeping closer? Oh, that gives me the goosies every time I read it. <laughs> Especially that last part, like why are the trees creeping closer? Like, do you know how horrifying that is to see like woods off in the distance and you're kind of like already creeped out by it, but then every time you look up, every time you look away and then look back, they're getting closer and closer? Horrifying, horrifying, like I said before, the woods are a perfect backdrop to a creepy, scary story i i can't i can't deal with it but once i heard mina talk about this i knew that i was going to be hooked and i'm i think currently like a hundred or something pages in it is so so good the formatting of the chapters is very interesting I, i'm not familiar with dawn kurtigich's writing this is my first book by her so this is the first book that i'm reading um, from her so maybe this is normally how she sets up her books but either way i still think the plot is really interesting and it's definitely holding my interest it is a ya book but i love a good ya thriller and book in general so yeah that's an honorable mention i will report back in my september wrap-up video when i finish it all right y'all and those are all of the books that i plan on reading for fall and all of the books that i have read already that i recommend that you read during the fall um i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you found some gems within this definitely let me know what you guys plan on reading so yeah just leave those comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye